Exhibition match of the century, Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul sparring and hugging for eight straight rounds in a boxing match where there were no judges, there was no winner, and there was not a single knockout. Or was there? In the final seconds of one of the later rounds, it appears like Floyd Mayweather may have actually knocked out Logan Paul only to help him stay on his feet to keep the show going. Somehow the entire world missed this in real time, but this morning on social media, this video is making the rounds where Floyd hits him with a right, comes up with the left to the chin, and it appears like Logan went night-night only to have his opponent catch him, hold him up, and let him head back to the corner as the round came to an end. You almost have to imagine like Floyd might have been in his ear like, come on buddy, stay up. We gotta give these people a few more rounds. They paid 50 bucks for this shit. We gotta at least put on some sort of show here. Almost like when you're play fighting with your brother, your older brother, and he actually catches you by accident. Immediately he's like, fuck, oh shit, are you okay? I didn't mean to, man. Like, ah, don't tell mom, I don't wanna get in trouble. I'm sure we'll never know the truth. I don't think either fighter would ever speak on that sequence. But even Logan Paul in his post-fight press conference said, I'm not sure if Floyd took it easy on me. But either way, Logan made the impossible happen. I can't believe there are still people out there who won't give him his respect. Dude is an 0 one and one YouTube boxer. And yet because he's amassed such a following, become so popular, and become such a force in the business world on the internet that he got the greatest boxer of all time and one of the greatest businessmen of all time to agree to work with him and make millions with him. How that's not a success, how that's not a W is fucking beyond me. Logan Paul, he won this months ago when Floyd simply agreed to do this. It wasn't about what happened in the ring. He didn't have to win. He didn't have to knock him out. Simply having that match occur, that was the W for Logan Paul. He's, the, he's an average dude who got to fight the greatest boxer of all time. He took the stupid hypothetical questions that people like me and you have how much money would it take for you to get in the ring with Floyd Mayweather? Do you think you could take a punch from Floyd? Do you think you could knock out Floyd? The same bullshit arguments that we do on KFC Radio and Answer the Internet, he did that for real. And there are still people who are giving him shit. The fact that you are holding him to a higher standard, like he didn't put on a good enough show as a boxer, means he already won. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, Floyd Mayweather smiling ear to ear. And I think we all knew this was about the money to begin with. We all knew that Floyd was all about his money. But my, oh my, did we confirm it this weekend. Floyd Mayweather doesn't give a fuck about his legacy. He doesn't care that he didn't knock out Logan Paul. As a matter of fact, it looks like he held him up so that he specifically didn't knock him out. He wanted to put on a show. He wanted to make a boatload of fucking money. And he did that. The only real loser here is Jake Paul with this whole campaign saying that Logan Paul actually won it. Logan Paul himself isn't saying that he won this fight and yet you got Jake Paul out here pulling a Donald Trump trying to say you won something when you blatantly didn't doing his whole gotcha career, you're 50 and one, my brother beat Floyd Mayweather. Dude, zip it. You're ruining the moment for your brother. If there's one L that Logan Paul needs to take, it's that he's got his PR team giving the wrong messaging after the fight here. He needs to go to ZipRecruiter.com and find a whole new PR team to do it right. Easiest way to find candidates to fill the role for the jobs that you need filled. Like right now, Logan Paul needs to be like, all right, Jake, you're fired. We need someone else to lead my messaging the next time I fight in the ring against a legendary Hall of Fame boxer. We're going to say this. We're not going to say that. He has a specific need. He needs it filled. He's going to go to ZipRecruiter.com because he can start for free right now. Scour through all the resumes and all the candidates looking for jobs just like that position. Fill it within 24 hours. That's what you can do when you've got a business to run and jobs to fill. Go to ZipRecruiter.com today. Start for free. So all in all, everything we expected to happen in the Floyd Mayweather-Logan Paul fight happened. Logan Paul put on a show. He came out wearing a Pokemon chain, a $2 million trading card on his neck while he put on a show for the internet. Floyd Mayweather put on a boring boxing clinic where he toyed with his opponent, went the distance, and he won. And Jake Paul, he acted like an asshole. They were who we thought they were, and yet people are still complaining. The only little bit of interest is this conspiracy theory. Did Floyd Mayweather actually knock out Logan Paul and keep him on his feet? Sound off in the comments below. What do you think happened?